are you doing? Well, I was going to take one of these mirrors. You're not using them. Oh, uh, you say that about everything you remove from my shop. So, what, what are you trying to do with it? Well, I kind of have a cool idea. This is quarter inch thick glass, and I looked online how to cut it myself. However, I didn't do a good job and ended up not getting a clean break. So instead of messing with it, I called my local glass company who said they would cut it down to size at no charge. So I dropped it off with them, requesting it to be 32 by 38. The first thing I did was make a frame from some one by pine, making four strips of about one and three eighths and then cutting in the miters. Next I set out to make a fake arch. Everything on this part is just personal preference. I wanted my side to be two inches, so I came in two inches. Then I moved to the top and found what will be center at 16 inches and came down four inches. Then I drew a straight line just to give me a reference for using my compass. And next I made an arc. Now I only did half because I wanted this to be very symmetrical and it's easier to do a half and make a copy than it is to try to do an entire arch. So I grabbed my jigsaw and next started cutting it out, really making sure to take my time and get it the way I wanted it. Went ahead and test fitted it, just to make sure there's no problems. And then I laid it out to start making a copy, first tracing it, using a table saw to cut off the majority of the material, rough cut it out with a jigsaw, and then come back with the flush trim bit. Wonderful. Now to a smaller arc. On this one I came in three quarters of an inch, drew a straight line, spaced it out 10 inches, and then drew another three quarter inch line. This one I went ahead and cut the entire arch just because it was very tiny. I also used my table saw to cut the majority of these two straight lines but then came back with the jigsaw to finish it off. After shaping it the way I liked, I test fitted it to make sure I liked the length. Hmm, looks a bit long. Maybe something like this looks better. Ah oh, yes, there we are. To add some flair, I cut some 3 quarter inch strips and then used a Roman OG bit to go over the edges. And before everybody says it at once, I know. I need a router table. Then I cut them into eight and a quarter inch pieces, making sure that they were longer than needed because remember, nothing is glued down yet. <laughs> I love making things. You know, this is the point in a project that I absolutely love getting to the point where whatever you saw is now sitting before you. I just, it's an amazing feeling. Before throwing primer on it, I decided to go over the inside edges with a round over bit, both on the bottom and those two arch pieces. Then gave everything a quick sanding and then threw on a coat of primer. Next was the hard part, picking out a color. I had two I was really going back and forth on. Oh, what the heck. Let's go with the pop of color. Once everything was dry, I came back with some sandpaper and distressed everything. Next I cut it back from quarter inch plywood. I set the piece of glass in its place along with the miters, lining it out where it was going to need to be. Then I traced it out and moved the piece of glass aside. Then I was able to use liquid nail mirror to attach the mirror to the backing. Finally able to move up to a bench top work surface, I started gluing on the frame. While test fitting the inside pieces, I realized that you can see in the reflection that the back side of these pieces are not painted. So I had to take them off and give them a quick coat of paint. But then I was able to start gluing them down. For these thinner inside pieces, I squeezed out a blob and then used a stick to smear it on. Once that center arc was glued down, then I was able to start cutting to size and gluing down those smaller pieces. 
The last thing I did was go around with a flush trim bit and a little touch up paint. lighting is really poor sorry so I don't know if you can pick up all the details but it really does look lovely in person well I think it looks lovely if this is something that you want to do though maybe the uh, fake arch makes it too complicated I would suggest looking online because there are a ton of simpler designs on how to turn a mirror into a window look like um, but I love how I can turn a junk mirror into a wall decoration so next week I'm actually going to be traveling most of next week so probably no project video but um, let me hear your thoughts on this one, and I will see you soon.